Ho, 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 ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Dev. Today, we're continuing work on this year's Let's Dev Holiday Special. Now, last time we had to focus real hard as we built the logic behind our game. We built systems that would not only choose a toy from a list of toys, but also pick descriptions for said toys, and then choose a few more toys for deceptive purposes. All of which had to be handled in a way that it really challenged us code-wise. So to let our brains recover from such a daunting coding experience, I thought we'd spend today's episode going over some of the art assets for our holiday project. We'll showcase some of the art and go over some of the general themes and ideas going on with the art this time around. Sound good? Great, let's get to the art. Now, similar to Sweet Spooks, we'll be going for the higher fidelity graphics this time around. And as a result, it took a majority of our time. So let's dive in and start with the toys. Instead of drawing toys within a universe, I went with a sticker theme to display the toys. I knew going in that I wouldn't have time to draw a lot of toys and make them all consistent in a way that I was satisfied with, so I went with something simpler. It would also play into the greater overall theme that I'll get into later. So yeah, I thought going with stickers would not only be more efficient time-wise, but would also mean I could get creative with the 20 plus toys featured in the game. And admittedly, due to time restraints, not everything looks great, and it's kind of obvious which items I'm not very good at drawing. But anyway, that's the toys, let's move on to the overall presentation of the project. The uh, quote-unquote lo-fi aesthetic here was always going to be the theme. However, the initial presentation for this project was a lot more uh, depressing. It involved playing as a child coming from a family with no money, and so their way of uh, quote-unquote experiencing toys was to look through toy catalogs slash magazines. And thus a sort of lo-fi puzzle game was created from the torn pieces of the catalog, and the original layout style was a much more papers please as well. Now, I'm not going to say this was inspired by real life, but I will say those catalogs probably don't even exist anymore, so it's probably a good idea that I changed things up anyway. So for the final presentation, the player takes control of a new intern working at Santa's workshop in the shipping department, which sets us up for the rest of the project's features. And yes, I will admit that this part was in fact inspired by real life. As for the visual aesthetics, I went with the colored paper and cardboard because I thought it really hit on that low-level aesthetic. Not only is the player doing paperwork for Santa's workshop, something not ideal when you think of the place, but it's not even being done at a desk. Basically, I just wanted to mess with the whole perception of Santa's workshop, which is often depicted as pretty dang glamorous. And that's really about it for the art. I didn't want to repeat what I did with Sweet Spooks and hide a bunch of lore in the art, but I did want to get at least a certain aesthetic across. This project also challenged me with creating better menus and managing an HD HUD, since I'm used to working with pixel art and much, much less space. And yes, I should mention that the sticker art alone took many, many hours. I'd argue I spent, I don't know, twice, if not three times the amount of time working on the art than the code. Which, speaking of which, next episode we will be returning to the code to finish up our little holiday project. And accompanying that video will also be a link to download and experience the game for yourself. A little gift from me to y'all as a thank you for your continued support. So yeah, a lot to look forward to next time, which brings us to the end of today's episode of the Let's Dev Holiday Special. So remember that if you like this video or enjoy Let's Dev in general, be sure to hit that like button. If you aren't already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to turn on notifications so you never miss a new episode. And as always, be sure to leave your thoughts on our progress in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.